From divine rights to royal Instagram likes, let's stroll through the centuries of British monarchs. Egbert. Known as the first king of all England, Egbert unified the various Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. His reign marked the beginning of what would become the Kingdom of England. Ethelwulf. He is remembered for his pilgrimage to Rome with his youngest son, Alfred the Great. His reign faced constant Viking raids, which shaped much of his policies. Ethelbald. He is known for rebelling against his father, Ethelwulf, while he was on pilgrimage. His short reign was marked by this internal family conflict. Ethelbert. Known for being less warlike than his predecessors, Ethelbert's reign was relatively peaceful. However, the Viking threat continued to loom over his kingdom. Ethelred I. His reign was dominated by battles against the Vikings, including the great heathen army. He died in battle, passing the throne to his younger brother, Alfred the Great. Alfred the Great. Famous for his defense against the Vikings and his subsequent treaty, Alfred is also credited with promoting education and legal reform. He's often remembered for the possibly apocryphal story of burning some cakes while hiding from the Vikings. Edward the Elder. He continued his father Alfred's work of defending against Viking invasions and consolidating control over England. His reign saw the expansion of Anglo-Saxon territory. Athelstan. Considered the first true king of all England, Athelstan defeated a coalition of Scots, Vikings and others at the Battle of Brunanburh. His reign is noted for its legal reforms and strong central governance. Edmund I. Known as Edmund the Magnificent, he managed to reclaim territories lost to Viking invasions. His reign was cut short when he was murdered in his own hall by a thief. Edred. He dealt with Norse kings in Northumbria and faced internal revolts. His ill health led to a relatively short reign. Edwig. His reign was marked by conflict with the church, particularly with St. Dunstan, over his marriage to a relative. He died young, leading to the succession of his brother Edgar. Edgar the Peaceful. His reign was known for its stability and peace, earning him his moniker. He was also crowned in a grand ceremony that set a precedent for future coronations. Edward the Martyr. His short reign ended abruptly when he was murdered, possibly on the orders of his stepmother. His death led to his canonization as a martyr. Ethelred the Unready. Known for his poor preparation against Viking invasions, earning him the epithet, the Unready. His reign was marked by extensive Danish attacks and the infamous St. Bryce's Day Massacre. Swain Forkbeard. A Danish king who briefly ruled England after Ethelred's initial ousting, his reign was short-lived due to his sudden death in 1014. Edmund Ironside. Known for his valiant resistance against Cnut the Great, earning him the nickname Ironside. His reign was brief, ending with a negotiated partition of England before his sudden death. Sinut the Great, a Danish king who established a North Sea Empire, ruling over England, Denmark, and Norway. He is famous for the apocryphal story of trying to turn back the tide to demonstrate the limits of kingly power. Harold Harefoot. His nickname, Harefoot, reflected his speed and agility. His reign was contested and marked by internal strife and the exile of his half-brother, Harthacnut. Harthacnut, known for his harsh rule and heavy taxation to fund his fleet. He was the last Danish king of England, dying suddenly in 1042. Edward the Confessor. His reign is remembered for his piety 
and the construction of Westminster Abbey. His death without an heir led to the succession crisis and eventual Norman conquest. Harold Godwinson The last Anglo-Saxon king of England, Harold's reign ended at the Battle of Hastings. His death marked the end of Anglo-Saxon rule in England. William I Known as William the Conqueror, he successfully invaded England in 1066, establishing Norman rule. His reign saw significant changes, including the Domesday Book Survey. William II Nicknamed Rufus for his red face, William's reign was marked by conflict with the church and his eventual mysterious death while hunting. Henry I. Known for his administrative efficiency, he issued the Charter of Liberties, a precursor to the Magna Carta. His reign saw the tragic loss of his heir in the White Ship disaster. Stephen. His reign was dominated by a civil war known as the Anarchy, fought over succession with Empress Matilda. His reign was chaotic and marked by a breakdown in royal authority. Henry II. He established the Angevin Empire and reformed the English legal system. His reign was marred by his conflict with Thomas Becket, which ended in Becket's murder. Richard I. Known as Richard the Lionheart, he spent most of his reign on crusade. His absence led to instability and heavy taxation in England. John. Known for losing most of his family's lands in France and signing the Magna Carta in 1215. His reign saw significant baronial revolt and conflict with the church. Henry III. His long reign was marked by his struggles with the barons, leading to the provisions of Oxford. His reign saw the beginning of the English Parliament. Edward I. Known as Longshanks and the Hammer of the Scots, Edward I was a formidable military leader. His reign included the conquest of Wales and significant legal reforms. Edward II. His reign was troubled by his favoritism towards male companions and military defeats, including at Bannockburn. He was eventually deposed and murdered. Edward III. His reign saw the start of the Hundred Years' War and the rise of the English Parliament. His numerous sons led to later dynastic conflicts. Richard II. His reign ended in his deposition by Henry IV due to his tyrannical rule and favoritism. His dramatic downfall led to his mysterious death in captivity. Henry IV. He seized the throne from Richard II, leading to ongoing conflict and rebellion. His reign was marked by efforts to stabilize the kingdom. Henry V. Famous for his military success at the Battle of Agincourt, Henry's reign was part of the Hundred Years' War. His sudden death left an infant heir, leading to instability. Henry VI. His reign saw the loss of English territories in France and internal conflict known as the Wars of the Roses. He was mentally unstable and was eventually murdered. Edward IV. His reign was marked by his victory in the Wars of the Roses and his conflict with the Lancastrians. His sudden death led to a power struggle. Edward V. He was one of the princes in the tower, disappearing and presumed murdered. His reign was brief and overshadowed by his uncle Richard III's usurpation. Richard III. His reign ended at the Battle of Bosworth Field, where he was killed. His legacy is controversial, with debates over his role in his nephew's disappearance. Henry VII. He founded the Tudor dynasty, ending the Wars of the Roses. His reign focused on stabilizing and centralizing royal authority. Henry VIII. Famous for his six marriages and breaking from the Catholic Church, creating the Church of England. 
his reign significantly altered the English religious landscape. Edward VI. His reign was dominated by his Protestant regents, leading to significant religious reforms. He died young, leading to a succession crisis. Mary I. Known as Bloody Mary for her persecution of Protestants, attempting to restore Catholicism, her reign saw a return to papal supremacy and the burning of heretics. Elizabeth I. Her reign, known as the Elizabethan era, saw the defeat of the Spanish Armada and flourishing arts. She never married, earning her the nickname the Virgin Queen. James I. The first Stuart King of England, James united the crowns of England and Scotland. His reign saw the commissioning of the King James Bible. Charles I. His reign led to the English Civil War due to his conflicts with Parliament. He was executed, leading to the temporary abolition of the monarchy. Oliver Cromwell A military leader in the English Civil War, Cromwell ruled as Lord Protector during the Interregnum. His rule was marked by strict puritanical reforms. Richard Cromwell his brief rule as Lord Protector was ineffectual, leading to the restoration of the monarchy. He is often referred to as Tumble Down Dick. Charles II. His reign, known as the Restoration, saw the return of the monarchy after Cromwell's rule. His period was marked by political and religious tolerance and hedonism. James II. James's Catholicism and attempts to promote religious tolerance led to the Glorious Revolution. He was deposed in favor of his Protestant daughter and son-in-law. William III. His reign, following the Glorious Revolution, established parliamentary sovereignty. He ruled jointly with his wife, Mary II. After Mary's death, he continued to rule, focusing on the war against France. Mary II. Her joint reign with her husband, William III, established parliamentary sovereignty. Her reign is remembered for its political significance during the Glorious Revolution. Anne. Her reign saw the union of England and Scotland into Great Britain. Her numerous pregnancies ended in childless, leading to the Hanoverian succession. George I. The first Hanoverian king, George spoke little English and relied heavily on his ministers. His reign saw the rise of the modern cabinet system. George II. He was the last British monarch to lead troops into battle. His reign saw the expansion of the British Empire and the War of Austrian Succession. George III. Known for his long reign, George III suffered from periods of mental illness. His reign saw the loss of the American colonies and the Napoleonic Wars. George IV. His reign was marked by extravagant lifestyle and heavy spending. He had a contentious relationship with his wife, Caroline of Brunswick. William IV. Known as the Sailor King, William's reign saw significant political reform, including the passing of the Reform Act, 1832. His reign was relatively short and marked by his naval career. Victoria. Her long reign saw the expansion of the British Empire and significant industrial and social changes. Her era is known as the Victorian Age, characterized by strict morality. Edward VII. His reign, known as the Edwardian era, was marked by elegance and the final flourish of the British aristocracy. He was known for his love of leisure and diplomacy. George V. His reign saw World War I and significant political changes. He changed the family name to Windsor during the war to distance the monarchy from its German roots. 
Edward VIII. He abdicated the throne to marry Wallace Simpson, an American divorcee, causing a constitutional crisis. His reign was the shortest of any British monarch. George VI. He led Britain through World War II, becoming a symbol of national resistance. His struggle with a speech impediment was portrayed in the film The King's Speech. Elizabeth II. Her reign was the longest in British history, overseeing significant changes in society and the monarchy. Her period saw decolonization and modernization of the royal institution. Charles III, formerly Prince of Wales, has emphasized modernizing the monarchy and environmental issues. His reign follows the long and influential tenure of his mother, Elizabeth II. Which one do you think is the most impressive? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.